Hello, Anime Nyan here. I want to address something in the anime community today, and that is the stigma towards top 10 lists. Top 10 lists are used extensively in anime and pretty much every topic under the sun, especially on YouTube. So today my question is, why is there this stigma around top 10 lists? But before we can answer that question, we need to ask another. Shouldn't a video be the same whether or not you slap a top 10 on it? After all, it's just a format. And you're right, a top 10 list is just a format. But the thing is, a format is crucial as it shapes the way we frame ideas and in turn, how we think about them. Format is about creating good logical flow so that we can form connections between ideas which were previously on their own. So a different format influences the content and how an audience perceives it. So yes, a top 10 video is different from other kinds of videos. Now back to the question, why is there a stigma around top 10 lists? So to answer this question, I did a little bit of research and thinking. And what I think it boils down to is five core reasons. Number one, they take less effort to make. Number two, they are clickbait. Number three, they encourage superficial analysis and discussion from the creator's side. Number four, they give less content to their audience. And number five, they are wrong. Okay, let's take a look at the first three. You see, there is a perception that top 10 lists take less effort to make. And I'm going to tell you, it's wrong. There is also a perception that top 10 lists are clickbait. That is also wrong. And how convenient, because there is also a perception that they encourage superficial analysis and discussion from the creator's side which as you guessed, is wrong. Why? Well, because top 10 videos don't take less effort to make. make. They can take less effort to make. They can be clickbait. They can have super superficial analysis. And can is the key distinction here because I acknowledge that there is, there are top 10 lists which aren't entertaining or well-researched because of many factors, short deadlines, the compulsion to prioritize quantity over quality, especially on YouTube, where consistency and uploading a set amount of videos is key. But top 10 lists have the potential to be so much more. I mean, just look at Misty Cronexia, an anime channel who I highly admire for his work. Check him out if you haven't in the description below. He does a whole lot of inter really entertaining top 10s and he gives a detailed summary to anyone who would be interested in an anime. Lost Boys, also an anime YouTuber who I suggest you check out, doesn't do that many top 10s but his top 10 anime of 2015, the video I'll show it here I guess, is really both hilarious informative and entertaining at the same time. This video is really well made and gives a summary of each of the shows and the reasons behind why he likes the shows. And that is what a top 10 can do. To really bring this case home, I think Video Game Donkey, with his recent-ish top 10 games of 2017, just proves that beyond a doubt, because even though this video is associated with the top 10 label, the production quality on this one video is insane. The, the analysis of the games which are featured is also insane. Like, oh my god, this video is actually really good. I don't care what you're doing right now, but just watch this video. That toaster you're holding? Drop it. Just watch this video. Really, this video is amazing and I can tell you how much effort he put into this video. A lot. A whole damn lot. Because 
so what it really comes down to is this. Just because a video is a top 10 doesn't mean it has to be clickbait and have a really misleading title or thumbnail. Doesn't mean it can't be entertaining. Doesn't mean you can't have and put effort into it. This brings me to my last two arguments that I want to dissect, which is number four and number five, which is they give less content to their audience. And number five, they are wrong. So my first argument, or the first argument, which is they give less content, uh, I'll split it into three parts. Number one, top tens are easy to process and add virtually nothing new to this co to the conversation. Number two, top tens ignore every spot except number 10 and one, because those are the only ones you actually remember. And number three, they over oversimplify ideas. And that's what I kind of meant when I was talking about they give less content. So let's look at each of these individual parts. Okay, so part one. This argument is saying that top tens are easy to process. Well, is actually wrong, as I said earlier. Why? Because as a creator, you can have some really complex discussion in a top 10 video. It is up to you to decide the scope of the content you create. And if you want to make the effort to do so, you can, well, you can add so much to the conversation. You can dissect topics, understand the world in a top 10 video. Now, part two is that top tens ignore all the numbers between one and 10. And I think this is where we get to the first argument, which has some substance, because I agree with this. A top 10 list motivates you to forget everything in between. I mean, what is number six? I've forgotten it because according to this hierarchy it is of little significance. And the fact that it makes us forget ideas is bad because it is the entire story which makes up a whole, not just one and 10. Some content creators have noticed this and they solve this by putting ideas and things in no particular order. So viewers won't feel compelled to hold on to a single idea. Some other creators have even removed this number entirely. So it just turns into a collection of ideas and there is no numerical priority which we unconsciously jump to. Now, number three, top tens simplify ideas. What I mean by this is, you know how some top tens will have a bullet point and then they'll have a story behind it. What we as an audience often find is our mind simplifies the entire story to that bullet point. We forget everything else because a convenient summary is there for us as a bullet point. But this isn't always good because a story cannot always fit neatly into a bullet point. And this is what I consider probably to be the weakness of top tens. Okay, now the final argument, which is number five, which is top tens are wrong. And this is probably the biggest gripe that people have with top tens, because there is no way for you to objectively place things in a category from best to worst. Enjoyment, especially from a fine arts perspective, is subjective and determined by our values, beliefs and experiences. So when you say that these are the top 10 horror anime of all time, that in itself is a little misleading because that top 10 is not someone else's top 10. So how do people combat this? Well, they just remove the top part of top 10, like Video Game Junkie. It is just 10 horror anime. Or they just state it's their opinion with a title like My 10 Favorite Anime, which is a great way to do it. To round this off, I just wanna say that top 10 lists aren't necessarily bad. What I will say, however, is that a top 10 list is not an excuse to make a less entertaining video because just as they have the potential to be very good, they have the potential to be very bad as well. 
like every video in existence. Hopefully not this one. So if you wanted to make a really great top 10 video, put effort into it. Don't make it clip clickbait, analyze, discuss. A few optional suggestions to include, which I suggest are having no particular order, removing the number from each bullet point, removing the top 10 or the top 10 part of top 10s to make sure they know it's your opinion and, and to make sure they know it's your opinion by saying something like my 10 favorite anime of all time. This is actually just optional though. It's just ideas which others have implemented. So overall, instead of saying down with all top 10 lists and I wanna just advocate for higher quality top 10 lists. And look, my opinion has actually changed drastically. When I first came up with this idea for a video months ago, this was going to be a very different video. I was going to say I hate top 10 lists and justify every reason why they were bad. But it is thanks to these amazing creators like Video Game Donkey, Misty Cronexia, and Lost Pause who have convinced me otherwise. So thank you very much for informing me more about the world, you guys. Thank you. And that is why top 10 lists aren't that bad. Thank you very much for being here. On the other side of the screen, I live and die by you, the viewers. So thank you very much for supporting me. You mean the world to me. Adam and Yan, out.